The Queen was joined by grandson Prince William as she made her way to a church service near Balmoral this morning. Prince Charles, 70, also attended, driving himself and his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, 72, to the service. However, there was no sign of Prince Andrew, who chose not to attend after a week which saw his accuser Virginia Roberts appear on TV and make more claims about him. The 36-year-old alleged that she was coerced by pedophile U.S. businessman Jeffrey Epstein into having sex with Andrew on three occasions. Andrew, who denies the claims, had attended the Sunday service with the Queen last weekend. Wearing her signature color block today, the monarch dressed in a head-to-toe baby blue suit, with black trimming, complete with a matching hat, which had feather detail. Prince William also came in his Sunday best wearing a black suit with a skinny maroon tie. He matched with his father, Prince Charles, who also sported a deep red tie, a move away from his usual patterned pieces. The monarch opted for a cherry color for her church-going attire, despite today's rainy weather. She also had delicate black butterflies on her hat, which contrasted the bright blue of her suit. A three-tier string of pearls and a pair of pearl drop earrings finished her church service look. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall came suitably dressed for the occasion too, as she could be seen arriving for the service in a green shirt and jacket. It will be one of the last outings in Balmoral this year for the Queen, as she usually returns to London in October following her annual summer break north of the border. Prince William was seen without the Duchess of Cambridge, or their three children, as he sat beside his grandmother, smiling and chatting happily to her. Well-wishers turned up outside the church hoping to get a glimpse of the royal family, while police guarded the church, to ensure the monarch and her family stayed safe while at the service. The Queen has hosted most of her family over the warmer months at her Scottish summer estate, including all four of her children and most of her 16 grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Prince Harry, and sister-in-law, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex were not in attendance today. They recently returned home from the star-studded wedding of stylist, and close friend, Misha Nanu, where they mingled with stars including Orlando Bloom, Katy Perry, and Ivanka Trump. The royal couple are set to fly out on their tour of Africa today, taking their four-month-old son Archie with them. Last week the Queen was spotted attending church with Prince Andrew, in a show of support for her second son who has come under fire since the Jeffrey Epstein scandal reached fever pitch. Her second eldest son has faced scrutiny over his friendship with billionaire Epstein, who, after facing charges of sex trafficking, took his own life on August 10. On August 12, Prince Andrew made his first trip to Balmoral this season, accompanying the Queen on her weekly visit to church. Sarah Ferguson and the couple's eldest daughter Princess Beatrice were also in attendance during the August visit, with the Duchess of York staying in a separate lodge. Prince Edward, 55, her youngest son, has also been pictured at the castle on horseback, alongside his daughter Lady Louise Windsor, 15. Elsewhere Edward's wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex, 54, was seen taking their son James, Viscount Severn, 11 to try his hand at fly fishing on the River Dee. It appears that William had left the Duchess of Cambridge and their three children at home to pay a special visit to his grandmother in Scotland. The Queen attends church in the local town of Grady Kirk whenever she stays at her Balmoral residence, and has been accompanied by various members of the royal family during summer 2019. As the royals arrived to the church service, Prince William and his grandmother appeared to be chatting and enjoying spending some quality time with one another. While Meghan Markle and Prince Harry haven't made the trip to Balmoral to visit the Queen this summer, there is apparently no bad blood between the family members. A source close to the couple previously told Bazaar.com, given that they were both working through the majority of August it was not something that was scheduled this summer. Plus, it's worth noting that the family often see the Queen when she is at Windsor. They are very close. While Meghan and Harry are set to embark on a royal tour of Southern Africa this coming week, Prince William is scheduled to visit Pakistan later this month with his wife, Kate Middleton. Queen Elizabeth II arrived at the weekly church service wearing a beautiful baby blue suit, with black trimming, complete with a matching hat. 
Prince William accompanied the monarch to church, as Prince Charles drove himself and wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall to the service. But Prince Andrew, who attended last week's service, was not with her this time. The Duke has been embroiled in controversy in recent weeks, after recent publicity about his friendship with disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein. Mr. Epstein was found dead in jail last month in an apparent suicide, after being held on federal sex trafficking charges involving dozens of underage girls. The prince was dragged into the controversy but has categorically denied acting improperly with any women. The queen wore a three-tier string of pearls and a pair of pearl drop earrings for the church service. She was dressed in her baby blue with matching hat, with black butterfly detail. As tradition, the Queen is due to return to London in October. Prince William dressed smartly for the occasion, in a black suit with a skinny maroon tie. His father, Prince Charles, donned a similar look with a dark suit and chunky deep red tie. He even wore a pale blue flower to match his mother's outfit. Camilla opted for a dark green shirt and jacket. Prince Harry and wife Meghan were not at the service. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have just returned from friend Michianu's wedding in Rome. They are due to fly off to Africa tomorrow for the start of a 10-day tour. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, was not seen with her husband. Nor were the couple's three children. Meanwhile, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, 54, was with her son James, Viscount Severn, 11 fly fishing in the nearby River Dee.